Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna dye my hair. Got the dogs with me, so if you hear any noises then we all know what that is. Please ignore the background because eh, I miss my filming setup, my filming studio, my beauty room, all of that jazz so much. But anyway, we gotta move on. So, today I'm actually gonna go ginger, it's been a while. I haven't been ginger for... I reckon like two or three years. Last winter, I went like a dark purple to pink. If y'all remember, that video is on my channel. Today, I'm gonna be testing out this. I'm actually very, very interested to see how this goes now. Because if you look at the back, it obviously shows you at the back like they all do. But this one is saying, it says black to dark brown hair, this one here. and. I just cannot see this doing that. And I'm very intrigued to see whether it does or not. So I've already got it ready to go. Um, I might do a little bit of a chit chat whilst I'm doing this and kind of update you guys slightly on like what's going on in terms of YouTube. Well, not in terms of YouTube, but just about why I can't do videos like I used to be able to. But this video is a review of this. So. I'll try and put chapters in, so anyone who just wants to see if this is any good, I'll put like chapters in, hopefully. My editing issue, that's what we're going to talk about, is it's an issue. It's causing me a lot of stress. But yeah, so I have been ginger for ages and I've been craving the ginge for a while now. So I've had this, I've had this for over a year. I got this last year, I think, and then I, and I got the purple and I decided to do the purple. So now this year we're doing ginger. So I'm just going to get started. Now, as you can see, this is what we've got. As you can see, this is what I've got. I've got a lot of hair. It's an issue. It, it, it's an issue. That is not going to cover my hair. However, another thing to note is I do love the blonde. I always will always go back blonde. I'll always be blonde during the summer months, I think. I just don't. I think that's just the thing. But we've got a good few months where we can be ginger now. Now, if you guys remember, I did have to shave my head um, last year. Oh, that's interesting. So this growth underneath here, this is from basically this time last year. I think it was like maybe beginning of December or something last year. Um, this was shaved to my scalp. So it's growing all right. This isn't growing anymore. Don't know why. Just it won't grow. This side grows and I keep having to cut it so that it matches this side and I don't know why if anyone knows why please do tell me but I did buy some of that rosemary oil stuff so I'm going to see if that helps so what I'm thinking is because I really want to see what this does on dark hair because it says black to dark brown that it, that it does go quite red I'm gonna I'm gonna do these underneath bits I'm gonna do all my roots um my top roots are not quite as dark as these roots I do have my ring light on so hopefully you can see so I'm going to just do it on the roots and I'm going to try and pull it down. I'm happy to have it as like a balayage into blonde. But I do also have plenty of semi-permanent oranges that I can put on as well, which at least then I know they're going to wash out and I can get the blonde back easily. I wouldn't have put this over the whole of my hair, I don't think, because my hair's already pretty damaged and I will want to be blonde in about six months' time. So anyway, enough chatting. I'm going to just change my parting slightly to... A proper middle parting and let's just get this done guys let's just slap it on it's been a, it's literally been a year since i've actually dyed my hair um since i did it that purple i haven't done it since and i can't remember how to do it <gasps> i don't remember how do i normally do it i usually do like the side down and then that side down right yeah please don't let me run out at least let me get covered what i need to get covered right so um yeah i'm going to explain about this video i do not have my mac anymore those of you who've been following me for a while will know that i had a huge big mac that i obviously would film and edit my video obviously i say film i normally would use my dslr camera and i would have the monitor i would be able to see myself on them on my big huge monitor um, oh, it's making me quite upset thinking about it. 
and yeah that is what i would i would be filming on a dslr dslr now not my phone which is what i'm filming on right now sorry guys nightmare i know um i can't see the back of my head this is not gonna go well this is gonna go terribly terribly wrong i can just feel it also i'm like i'm just in the mood to talk as well rather than actually do my hair i just want to talk i just want to do chit chat should have just a makeup video no i wanted to just do this so let's do this um so basically what i'm going to do is i'm gonna kind of just take it to like here and then once i've done all of it if there's any left i'll pull it down if there's not i'm going to mix up a little bit of orange with conditioner and, and pull it down but i still think i want to leave the ends blonde um it's difficult to say whether they would still be blonde anyway once it's washed out because it will run onto the blonde and my hair's very porous. Um, when I did it last year actually, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did the purple and then I did pink a pink rinse on the ends. But the purple just totally, when I washed it out, the purple proper ran down. So it was more purple than any pink even. Now... But what I would advise to anyone who is doing this, if you see this and if you think, oh, that looks good, and you've got hair similar-ish to mine, definitely get two boxes if you want to do the, like all of your hair. Maybe even three, seriously, because, I mean, my hair does really, really soaks it up. But you don't get a lot in these boxes. If you add hair like her, like that length, you're going to need at least three, I'm telling you. Oh, I love it already. I actually do. So I actually do kind of want it all ginger. But I'm just very aware of myself and when I want to go back blonde. And I don't want to be damaging my hair anymore than it already is. I mean, I can use one of the colour removers on it, which will help, but... If I just use a semi-permanent on the rest of the blonde, perfect. It's not damaging it. It's going to come out easy enough. Um, so that's what I'm thinking, guys. And I think in terms of wanting, in terms of reviewing this colour, really, you want to see what it's going to lift like. I have no doubt in my mind that this will turn my blonde bright orange. That's that will work but it, you want to know how it's going to lift on the darker hair that's what you want to know and that's what we're going to find out um oh. so this is quite dark this this parts of my hair now as you can see basically i want to try and make sure i've got half of this left by the time i've done this half of my head and i don't know if i'm gonna damn it um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, about the editing. So this particular video that we're doing right now, well, like I said, I'm filming it on my phone. Now, I, I do still have access to iMovie in the sense that I have an iPad and I have a MacBook as well. Now, my MacBook is what I use for uni and it's got very little memory and it's just not really an option at the moment bear in mind i finished uni this year so maybe that will be an option in the future um i've thought about that the ipad just i try i've tried using the ipad and it does not have the features that a proper computer or laptop has it's <laughs> iMovie on an ipad is a bit naff to be quite honest um i'm not gonna lie so it's all a bit look now i can't get the footage from my from my cameras onto my ipad but what i thought about doing was just filming on my niece has let me use her iphone because it's easy to get from an iphone to an ipad so that was kind of an option as well however what i'm going to do today i'm going to try and do today is i'm going to try and do it on my phone so the in the editing app on my samsung you can create a movie and i think you can basically just put clips together 
I think you can speed stuff up as well, but I don't know if you can only speed up the entire clip. So for instance, I can't speed any of this clip up because the whole thing would be sped up. So I'm just kind of playing about with it and seeing what happens. Um, so yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I realise that this being a, like a hair review is really not the... like the moment to be having like a chit chat but i don't really care to be honest <laughs> if i'm able to i might even edit this video down and upload it again but just a really short quick version for anyone who genuinely has just come and wants to see this in the future even um but for now this is going to be a bit of a chit chat video so sorry not sorry right um it's hard to say how much I've got left as to whether it's like half or not. I reckon I've still got half left, so I'm feeling pretty pretty all right about it. Um, right, this is now. So this is all the, the dark underneath bits that really does need to be covered or it's going to look bloody stupid. I do not see this going ginger. I'm not expecting it to be bright, but I just don't see it going ginger at all like it says on the box. I have quite a lot of experience. Well, uh, most of you guys will know if you if you've been if you know me, you know that I'm a qualified hairdresser. Um, but I also have done quite a lot of reviews on box dyes and things, um, and actually like salon salon products as well. And you need quite a bit of lift to lift my hair. I'm not gonna lie, because I do have fairly dark hair. So I just don't see it happening, but we'll find out, won't we? We will find out. Now this underneath of my hair, also side note, is completely virgin. Um, it hasn't had any any dye on it, The under, those short underneath bits. Every time I've dyed my hair since, like when I've done it bleached and stuff to get it back blonde, I didn't touch those underneath bits, I just left them. So now I'm going to have to try to do the blending later on because I need to at least just make sure I've got enough colour to do all of this and then I'll see if I can drag it down a bit after that. Oh, I'm quite excited. I've just been feeling a bit naff lately um, and yeah maybe this will just pick me up a little bit it's always fun doing your hair in it how cool do I look right now <laughs> right now I also don't want to like touch the ends of my hair with my orange always a slight bit of an issue there isn't there but That is another thing that makes this difficult <laughs> when you're dyeing your hair yourself. Shit. Oh, just swore. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to edit that out either. Um, ah. If you do want to leave it blonde, because it's like you can't touch the ends of the hair and that makes it a bit difficult. But yeah. I don't know if I've even taken it down far enough. To cover all the brown, I think I have. I think I have, haven't I? As long as all the brown is covered, then it's all good. It's just a bit hard to tell, but I'm going to drag it down more anyway, if I've got any left. So let's just get it slapped on the other side. Don't really want this video to be mega mega long. So I'm wondering if I should pause now, do the other side off camera. Also, I'm really enjoying our little chat. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pause, record. That's what I'm doing. Um I'm gonna do the other side and uh we'll see how we get on with that and see what we've got left. Yeah, so let's do that. Oh, oh, gross. I'll be back very soon, love you. Ugh, okay guys, I literally 
just had it off that's what I've got left so now I'm gonna I just want to quick right what time is it now so 27 so it's half past it says to leave it on for 35 minutes well it says 25 and then 35 if you've got grays I'm gonna leave it for 35 um it's taken me about 50 minutes to put it on but I'm gonna leave it for at least half an hour from now so about yeah about three o'clock but I want to just go through now and start pulling pulling through and making sure it's kind of obviously I don't want it to have um like a sharp ends where the orange stops and the bottom starts kind of thing so I'm just pulling it down now slightly throughout the hair I'm just hoping that the whole hair is bloody covered that needs to be um but yeah I do hope this video turns out all right I really really do oh, this is hard it's a bit sad to do this to yourself like I can't tell whether it's covered or not it's really hard to tell um I got my comb, can't see a bloody thing. Come on, come on, it's so tough. Oh, my hair is already like, I'm in pain, mummy, I'm in pain. Right. I think that's all right, you know, I think it's definitely covered all the dark. And then if I comb it like this, It'll help to just blend it slightly. Oh. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this now for about the rest of it and then let it wash off. And then we can see where we're at after that. And I'm just hoping that I'm going to have to stop this video now. Um, this is our one clip. Um, so I'm going to have to stop this video now and start a new clip, which means I'm just hoping that I can put them both together. <laughs> um, so yeah. But let's let you have a quick look to see what it's looking like while it's on. It, do, it does look like it's actually doing the roots, guys. I'm not even, I'm not even mad right now. I'm quite excited. So if you can see, it definitely looks like it is taking. And yeah, I guess we're going to find out very soon how, how well it has taken on the dark bits. And also it is on some of the blondes, so we can see that as well. Um, I might decide to, I might decide to go and get something. If I do, then I will film it and put it on. But for now, I'm going to say... I'll see you in a second. Right, guys. So I decided I needed to, uh, if I'm going to go ginger, I'm going to go ginger. So I've mixed this, which is, I think I've featured this in my channel before, but I can't even remember if it was good or not or how, how ginger it was because I don't think it's going to be that ginger. But all I've done is mixed it with some conditioner. And I haven't mixed it too bright but it, it looked like it might be going to go a bit brownish which i'll be very unhappy if it does but no it does look quite gingery now i've got it on and all i'm doing is i'm kind of just balayaging it down so i'm still going to leave some blonde down here but this side i haven't done yet but as you can see there's not enough ginger going on at this side so yeah and with this, I know that this isn't going to damage my hair at all. If anything, it's good for my hair because it's conditioner. And it's going to just rinse out. So I'm more than happy to have... I, I would happily just completely saturate my hair in this. But I do quite like a bit, a little bit of blonde, a little bit of summit, summit going on. So it's not all just one colour. However, when I rinse it out, I don't know... Um, how much is going to rinse into the blonde like it did last time with the purple but I think there'll still be some blonde 
showing through. So all I'm doing, I oh, feel like I've got more hair at this side and I haven't got a right lot left. It's not a problem because I can mix a bit more if I need to. Um, yeah, I'm basically just putting it on and pulling it down. Just to blend it. So I'm then blending as well. I'm blending the um, the top orangey bits with the bottom blondy bits. And that's basically all I'm doing. What I might do, I did find a few, more, a few of my others my semi-permanents and I might even once this starts to rinse out a bit I might even do another video and do a review on some of the semi-permanent ones as well see how white bright they are and stuff I've got so much so 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 many hair products that they're just not getting used and obviously it does go out of date and 90% of what I've got is out of date but still I'll still use it on myself it's fine so yeah, that's literally all I'm doing now. I think this side, yeah, this bit's all gotten ginger on it. So let's do this bit and match it all up. I'm not even being very precise with it. And there's, I just want to make sure that there isn't any like huge gaps that are still blonde underneath. But yay, I'm excited. So it's only been about five minutes since I put the stuff on well okay that's a lie I've got about 10 minutes till I'm gonna wash it off but that's fine for the um for the semi-permanent anyway I can always leave it another five if I need to well the trick is try to get it even on both sides there's still quite a lot more blonde at this side isn't there So oh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be, I, I mean my hair's not going to be bright orange in any way, definitely not, it's not going to be as ginger as the picture because I haven't used that specific stuff on most of my blonde and it's not going to lighten the brown bits that much, but it just kind of means it blends it in so you can have, I could have then now if I wanted my blonde bits bright orange and this would blend in with it whereas if I'd have just done a demi or like a semi-permanent on the blonde this would have been brown brown there wouldn't have been any kind of tint of orange and it just wouldn't look as good but even I think if you can just get your darker bits to just be tinted with a tint of a tint of the ginger then it blends so much more blends so much nice but these dark bits underneath though I don't even think they're getting tint on them I don't think they're doing anything at all we'll find out once it's dried I wonder if I should straighten it just so that we can see a bit better we'll see we'll see but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this um off camera now because it's pr pretty much finished and look can you see how this side is longer I don't know what's going on I just recently I've cut it and I cut them both the same and this side just <sighs> I don't know anyways see you in a second okay guys this is the finished result of my hair I have tried to let it dry as much as I can it is actually pretty much dry I did put some oils in so that might be why this might look like it's a little bit dry but actually it's not it's pretty dry in fact that oils that oils made it look quite nice I don't think I put as much on this side and this side goes a bit more frizzy with all the oil so yeah but this is the finished result with the colour. So what is my overall opinion? Well I'm quite impressed now let me just see Woo, if I need to change the light in a bit I mean if I put it too light it's gonna wash it out but if it's not light enough you can't really see you can't really see the I don't know can you see can you see the colour this this camera on this phone is actually doing quite well at adjusting to the changes in the light. It's also pitch black outside, so there is no daylight whatsoever. So we are just relying on the ring light. And the Christmas lights behind me as well. But yeah, um, it's definitely lifted and it's toned my roots fairly ginger. Quite, 
I'm quite impressed with it to be fair. I think it's pretty decent. I think I do have quite dark hair. Now, this bit under here I'm not quite sure about. It has definitely done something, hasn't it? Like, if I can show you. But it it seems to have tinted it more at the root. But it's definitely done something. It's definitely got a ginger tint to it now. Whereas it was like a it, quite a dark brown before. And now it's got like a slightly lighter, more ginger tint to it. But yeah, I'm quite pleased. As you can see, as obviously it has lightened and um, dyed these darker roots ginger. So now I've kind of got like a ginger to blonde kind of ombre effect. And I really like this isn't my pyjamas by the way this is a cardigan but it's very pyjama like I do have pyjama bottoms on because why not but yeah I'm quite impressed so where's it gone where's the box gone so Garnier Nutrice number 740 Copper Passion it doesn't look like that does it let's be real it doesn't look like that but we do need to remember that this didn't necessarily really go on the blonde it did go on some of this this blonde here actually and it hasn't gone super vibrant to be fair but then if you look under here it's, it is quite orange so yeah i'm i'm pretty pleased with it if you wanted it to look that exact color it's probably not going to that is a very nice color but for the effect that i wanted i'm quite happy and the fact that it has definitely dyed my darker roots ginger so now i'm just like ginger to blonde i'm like ginger to strawberry blonde <sighs> sahara sunset um and yeah i like it i'm pleased i would recommend this i think it's fairly decent i don't know if it's quite done that on the darker bits but it's definitely dyed it and it definitely has worked yeah so what I might do is I might do over the next like month or so, I might do some videos of semi-permanents. So for instance, this is one that I have. I've used it a few times. I can't remember what it looks like though. Um, and I might top up this at, like as it runs out, as it washes out, I might try topping up with this mixed with some conditioner. Um, and do some reviews on that as well. But we'll just see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, that would be amazing. And I'd love for you to watch more of my videos. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye.